Well, I was really surprised, then I realized, that, realized I must be pretty old. So when you're a 66-year-old, it's like a lifetime award. You know, there's tremendous coaches in the Wolverine co Conference, and I guess the tiebreaker is age in this case. There was a man named Dick, How Dick Hauser when I was a Little League player, and he was a uh, minor league player who in off-season climbed telephone poles, fought, fell off the telephone pole, and broke his back. So he devoted himself to coaching Little League sports, and he had a real impact on me. Uh, he was a hard-driving kind of coach, had high expectations for all kids, and I saw the advantages to that. So he had a tremendous impact on how I approached coaching and high expectation for kids on realizing that if you push them real hard, you're not going to break. And then later on, after I got involved in volleyball, there was a Western Michigan coach, he's in the area, named Rob Buck. And Rob came down to Berrien Springs uh, every summer for about three, four years, lived with me for a week, and we had clinics for kids. And I, he taught me a lot about the game and, again, on, on the advantages of high expectation for kids. When you take a look back, it's not about one moment as much as uh, when you've coached over four decades realizing that kids continually come back now who are now adults and some of them middle-aged adults and they talk about the impact that uh, athletics and appropriate relationships in athletics, high expectations, good values had on their adult lives. So as I look, take a look back at a, at a full career coaching, what I realize it's not about one event, it's about multiple events that allow us to have the opportunity to change the life of kids. Yeah, I've had quite a few kids who are coaching now. As a matter of fact, in Berrien Springs, I replaced one, uh, two girls that I had uh, coached who were the head coach at Berrien Springs. And, but yesterday, I was in the hall with my principal, and, and one of the uh, girls that I coached who was a Division I, um, really, really outstanding Division I player. As a matter of fact, she was the leading hitter in the Big Ten her senior year. Um, she's a guidance counselor in Berrien Springs now named Linda Bergen and she once again talked about uh, the lessons that volleyball taught her which was if I can work this hard there's nothing that can throw me in my professional career sidetrack me from being able to accomplish tasks that I set out and I could go on and on I mean there's 15 kids on a yearly basis that come and talk about the impact that sports uh, and uh, my coaching had on them so that, that's fun, that's rewarding. And there's a lot of advice I give, you know, enjoy the ride, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, uh, coaching, coaching is a, is a great profession and a great opportunity to make an impact on kids. There's a special family kind of relationship that's, that's there where you can really have some deep kind of uh, dialogue because of the relationships. But, the one thing that I would say for young coaches who want to have a long and very successful career is that you never sacrifice your values. You know, and I, I go back to um, 19, I can remember this distinctly, in 1974, John Wooden of UCLA had an 88 game winning streak and this was very impactful on me. And they were playing Notre Dame of all schools in my area. When you play in Notre Dame, we always hope they lose, but they were playing Notre Dame, 88 game winning streak. And John Wooden benched one of his best players for that game, game because he broke uh, team rules. And to, needless to say, they lost that game. And, and gone was the 88 game win streak. And the advice he gave, or the interview that he gave on radio is the advice I'd give everybody. The reporter asked him, hey, it must have been terribly hard for you to set this player realizing your 88 game winning streak was on the line. And his response was, nope, it was very, very simple because no individual player is bigger than the program. The rest of that story and how it impacted me and I think it in, can impact young coaches is that if your program's built on the right, right foundation, values, those type of things, no one player, you should never compromise what's best for the team for one individual player. Thank you for the chance to um, have such a, a, a award. I really, really appreciate it, especially since I feel so highly about the Wolverine Conference.